Hey there, so this is a demonstration on using the RIT color remover in combination with OxyClean White Revive to remove color bleed stains. A couple weeks ago, I had an accident where a pair of red shorts were washed with my towels and my one of my t-shirts and it bled into the towel. So um, it's quite apparent in this white towel. And this is a towel I got from Kyoto, Japan, so it's not replaceable. I really want to salvage it. Um, as you can see, it's bled all over onto the white. And it's also apparent in this yellow towel, but not as not as much, but it's there. So I wanna I wanna try to I wanna try it on both, but first things first is to try it on this white towel because it's probably lower risk and I do not think it will affect the existing color pattern. By the description of how RIT works is that it should only uh, attack or uh, resolve the areas in which the color bleed from the other articles of clothing in the previous wash uh, affected it. Some user on a forum reported that they had really great success using RIT in combination with OxyClean White Revive on their uh, area rug um, where they had a similar reddish pink color, color bleed. So um, I bought the same stuff and hopefully it'll work out for me as well. The first thing I noticed is that the pouch inside of the box is not very well sealed inside. So the powder of the RIT product is constantly falling out and kind of uh, uh, flaking out of the box um, or dropping out of the box. So I recommend going ahead and putting it into a Ziploc bag like I've done here. As you can see, it's you already got some powder in there. Um, it, it's not really well self-contained, so I recommend sealing it in a bag or containing it in some kind of bag. Next is there are no instructions on the box. It just recommends going to the website, which is uh, dyerit or ritdye.com. It's somewhere on here. Where is it? There it is, ritdye.com. You go to the website, you'll eventually find it if you look for the color bleed remover product and instructions on how to do so. So the first thing it tells you to do is uh, preheat the water to 140. F. Recommend stovetop method, but I think I'm just gonna try it in the bucket or tank, uh, which I saw in another video, um, and go from there. So I'm almost at my desired set point or desired temperature. Well, I'm pretty much there, so I can pour that in to this foot bath bucket and run back up to the bathroom carefully without spilling. So we're back in the bathroom with our hot water and tongs. You're gonna need tongs because this water's hot. And the instruction says to use two pouches for small loads, but I think uh, we're dealing with one towel and maybe one t-shirt here. So uh, one pack is probably good enough. So I'm gonna start with that. Here we go. Well, it says to soak for 20 minutes, so let's leave it for 20 minutes and stir occasionally. So it's been about 10 minutes, and I want to say it's working, but I can't really tell. Uh, one user did report that he turned their shirt yellowish, from white to yellowish, but removed successfully removed the color bleed stains. Um, I don't know. We'll see, because you know, I have a very, very white shirt or shirt that's supposed to be completely white here so we'll see what the result is so i've got about five minutes left on my timer and i want to try it on this little towel here um it's a yellow towel but as you can see there's some red colored bleed on there as well in this pink zone i'm gonna do a quick dip and see how it affects the the color of the towel correction to what i said earlier there's actually instructions on the inside of the box which you open it so maybe you don't have to go online and speaking of what's on the box, 
sodium hydrosulfite and sodium carbonate anhydrous, is that how you say it? it? Is quite slimy and it really stinks. So recommend turning on the vent. So 20 minutes are up now and let's quickly take a look at this yellow towel again. Uh, so far so good on this towel. I was concerned with the yellow color uh, being affected by the mixture. And the reason why I'm concerned with this is because I did uh, get a couple of drops onto my blue shorts earlier and it did uh, stain or turn my shorts pink in those uh, splashed area. But it looks like it's gonna be okay with this towel. So I'm gonna use this in a separate bath later on. So now it's time to dump the water out and take a look at the results. So here we go. Smells a little like a hair salon. Squeeze it dry. Definitely smells like a hair salon. Pretty good, actually. Now, this seems like it's pretty much back at original condition, and I don't think I need the OxyClean White Revive, but, um, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. So I'm gonna try it anyways and see how good it turns out. And as for the white t-shirt, there used to be a hint of pink in there, but it's all gone now. It's pretty white. So far, so good. Okay, so after an overnight hang dry, these guys are looking great. This towel is back to normal, completely back to normal in my opinion. I don't see any pink or red color bleed remaining. I did use the OxyClean White Revive and uh, probably helped. I don't know how much, but it was already pretty white after, after the RIT bath. And just for comparison, I have got this white towel that has never been washed with anything but white items. Um, and it looks pretty comparable to the t-shirt. So hands down, RIT color remover is awesome. Astounding results, highly recommended. Good luck guys.